There's nothing more comforting and delicious than a homemade apple pie. Flaky pastry, sweet apple filling and spiced cinnamon served with a big scoop of vanilla ice cream. You can either make your own pastry for this apple pie or pick up some store bought. Both work well, it just depends on how much time you have. If you're making your own pastry, in a large size mixing bowl, measure out the flour, one and two thirds of a cup and a pinch of salt. I have a completely separate video on how to make short crust pastry or pie crust if you would like a more in-depth tutorial. Cut up cold butter into squares and place into the bowl. This recipe calls for one part fat, so this could be butter, shortening or even lard. Use whichever you would like or have on hand. I find butter has the best flavour, but sometimes shortening can add a better texture to the pastry. Make sure your butter is cold, straight out of the fridge and use a knife to cut it up into small cubes so it's easier to manage. Add the butter to the mixing bowl, breaking the cubes up. The easiest and most effective thing to do here is to use clean and dry hands to work the butter into the flour, sort of pressing it between your fingers, rubbing it in. Once your pastry has a sandy texture, it's ready to be formed into a dough. Add two to three tablespoons of ice water to the bowl and start to mix the dough through with a knife. Using a knife to mix works well as it cuts through the pastry as you mix. Clump together a small amount of pastry and if it holds without breaking apart, it doesn't need any more water. Work the dough into a ball, sprinkle the work surface with flour and knead the pastry for about 30 seconds until it becomes smooth. You don't want to work it for too long or the heat from your hands can start to melt the butter. Wrap the ball of dough in plastic wrap and place into the fridge for at least 30 minutes to rest. At this point the dough can be left in the fridge for up to a week or freeze it for the next time you may need some pastry. While the dough is resting, get started on the apple filling. It can be made ahead of time and left in the fridge. Peel and thinly slice between 5 and 6 medium sized apples. I'm using Granny Smith as I love their tart flavour, but there are many different varieties you can choose from. Make sure it's a firmer apple as it stands up better to cooking rather than turning to mush. A few common varieties that are great for cooking are Royal Gala, Honeycrisp and Fuji. The full recipe for this apple pie will be on my website as well as the full measurements listed below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new recipes each week and take a look at my other apple recipes. Place the sliced apples into a large bowl and measure out the other ingredients. To the sliced apples, measure out some sugar to sweeten them up. I'm using white sugar, but brown works great too if you want more of a caramel flavour to the pie. Next is flour to soak up all the liquid from the apples and turn it into more of a syrup. This stops the bottom of the pie just becoming soggy. Measure out a quarter cup and pour it into the bowl. Lastly is a heaped teaspoon of cinnamon because you can't have apples without it and the juice from half a lemon. Mix the ingredients together until well combined. You'll notice almost instantly the apples begin to soften up. This can now be stored in the fridge until you're ready to use it, but make sure to let it sit for at least 30 minutes. While the apples are resting, roll out the pastry. Split the ball of dough in half and roll each piece into a large disc that is big enough to cover your pie dish. Mine is 9 inches. Place one of the discs into the pie dish and shape it with your hands. 
Pour in the apples, juices and all, and use a wooden spoon to even them out. Unless you've rolled your pastry out perfectly, you'll probably have a bit of an overhang. So use a small knife to cut it back, leaving enough to decorate the edge of the pie. Top with the second piece of pastry, cutting off the excess and folding the top underneath the bottom so there is a good seal that won't separate while baking. Use your fingers and thumb to create a scalloped edge around the pie or a fork to create a pattern. If you have any leftover pastry, roll it out to about a quarter of an inch thick and use a knife to cut out leaves, creating the veins with the blade of the knife. Place on top of the apple pie and cut about four or five slits through the center so the steam has somewhere to escape. Coat with an egg wash and sprinkle with a teaspoon of sugar to create some texture. Place into the fridge for about 30 minutes to rest. This stops any shrinkage to the pastry. Place the pie into a 200 degree Celsius or 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 40 to 50 minutes or until the pastry is golden brown. Leave the pie to cool for an hour or so before cutting a slice and serving with ice cream. Optionally drizzle over some salted caramel sauce. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I will see you on my next video.